Hey guys, Snipes here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your PC for lower input delay and to boost your FPS. Stick around till the end if you enjoy. Please like and subscribe with notifications on to help me grow. I'm so close to 200 subscribers, so which means it will really help me out. And let's get into the video. To start things off, we're going to move to the basic tweaks. So first thing you're going to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher. You're going to go to your library. You're going to click on the three little dots right here. And you're going to click on manage and you're going to type in minus no splash and minus use all available chords now all this will be in the description for you guys so you guys don't have to type it all out you guys can actually just copy and paste it now you guys are going to click the x here and then you guys are going to go to options now and make sure you guys have pre-download stream assets checked and direct x12 shaders unchecked um, after that, we can go ahead and close your Epic Games Launcher. You're going to hit your Windows key and type in Updates. And then here, like I have an update available right now, which I would probably need to do at the moment. But um, make sure your PC is fully up to date so you guys aren't missing out on any important updates that is making your input delay higher and such. So like right now, I would probably need to update this, but I'm not going to right now. And if you guys really want to, you guys can pause your updates for seven days like I did just now now we can reopen up every games launcher and launch up fortnite so the first thing you're going to do when your fortnite opens you're going to go over to your settings now if you don't play stretch res you want to make sure that you're on full screen for lower input delay but since i play stretch res i play windowed full screen i just don't have stretch res on right now make sure your frame rate limit is 15 fps above what your monitor refresh rate is so i have a 165 refresh rate monitor you're gonna go to 180 fps you're gonna scroll down and your 3d resolution this is whatever you want it to be now usually i have mine on 75 um but 100 is the default for all high settings and all that and it will make your game look perfect 75 is a little blurry and the lower that you go the worse your game will look but the better your game will perform and then after that you want to go to direct and then you want to change out of performance mode, go to direct X11, click apply, keep changes, and then restart your game. Now that your game is loaded up into direct X11, we're going to go back to our settings. If I click on it, you're going to scroll down and make sure your quality presets is on low. You're going to scroll down and make sure everything is off or on low. Now you're going to make sure use GPU crash debugging is off because even Epic Games says that enabling this feature comes with a small performance cost. So you're going to turn this off and then make sure your NVIDIA Reflex low latency overlay is on plus boost. And now you're going to click apply. You're going to scroll back up and then go back to performance mode. Now we're going to move on to the basic tweaks, which is going to be more of your Windows settings and all that. So first thing you're going to do is go down here. You are going to type in core isolation and make sure memory integrity is off. You want to turn that completely off. Now, if you're on Windows 11, it might tell you that your device might be vulnerable, but don't worry about it. It's just going to make your input delay way higher and all that. So the next thing we're going to do is go back down here, type in device manager. Now you guys are going to scroll down to system devices you're going to look for high precision event timer and disable it now i've already done this so it says enable for me but you want to disable it i've heard mixed things about this so you can test it for yourself see if it helps your performance for me personally it did so the next thing we're going to do is move on to our graphic settings now i already have fortnite here but if you don't you want to make sure to add it but you're going to go to browse and click on fortnite client win 64 shipping now it's all you're going to tell me that i have it I'm going to go to options and then make sure it's on high performance now you want to make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is on and if you're on windows 11 high precision event timer i don't know if it's on windows 10 i'm not 100 percent sure make sure that's on too if you don't have that it's perfectly fine and then you want to do that thing and then you want to do this with fortnite Now we're going to type in game mode and make sure that you have this on. Now a lot of people are going to be like, but this is bad, this is bad. All it does is get rid of background apps while you're gaming. 
If you made it this far into the video and you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm so close to 200 subscribers and it would help me out a lot. Um, when you subscribe, make sure you have notifications on. I'm posting daily now. But uh, now we're going to get back to the video for optimizing your computer. Now we are going to move into our privacy settings. And now you're just going to make sure everything here is off. And then you want to go to inking and typing personalization and make sure this is off too. After that, you want to go to diagnostics and feedback and make sure all this is off. Now you've probably already sent diagnostic data. So we're going to click delete here and that's just going to completely help you with your input delay. Now we're going to close the X again, type in apps and features. If you're on Windows 11, you want to type in installed apps. Now, a lot of people don't go through this and delete everything that they don't need. Like a lot of this, you're probably not gonna need, or you know, you're not gonna need. If you do not know what it does, look it up and delete it. If it says that it's not a Windows thing, if you don't know what it does though, it's probably best to not delete it at all. Now, if you're on Windows 11, you're gonna scroll all the way down. You're gonna see system components. But if you're on Windows 10, it's gonna be right on the side. You're gonna click on game bar, go to advanced options, and make sure background apps is off. This is gonna put a really bad bump in your performance on any game that you play now you're gonna right click on your desktop or you can go down here and type it go to Nvidia control panel give it a minute for it to load then you're gonna go to add then you're gonna go to manage 3d settings I'm going to full screen this for you guys so you guys can go through this and I'm gonna scroll down very slowly so you can see them you guys are gonna copy these settings exactly All these settings are the best settings that it's gonna help you with Fortnite. So if you guys have to pause now, cause this is gonna help you out a lot. Now we're gonna move on to the more complicated tweaks. So you wanna go down here, type in register T editor. I can't pronounce it correctly, give me a break. And it's gonna ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're gonna say yes. My screen blacked out for a minute, but it should be coming back anytime now. All of this will be in the description below for you guys, so you guys don't have to search for all this, but we're going to go to here first. You're going to go to Network Throttling Index, right click, go to Modify, and see where it says Value Data. You're going to make sure you have eight Fs in there. And now we're going to go to System Responsive, right click on this, and make sure the and then Modify and make sure the value is on zero. Now we're going to move on to the very last thing you're going to have to do in register T editor, however you pronounce it. Now you're going to right click on this, create new, D word 32 bit valuable value, and then you're going to name it TCP ACK frequency. I'll put this in the description for you guys too, so you guys spell it right. You guys are going to right click on it, modify, make sure its value is one. You're going to right click, click new, go to D word value, 32 bit value again, make sure TCP no delay is what you're going to name it. Right click on it again, make sure the value data is also one. So the first thing you guys want to do is download MSI Afterburner. You're going to click on the very first one. You're going to download the, fi the final. And I'm going to put this in the description for you guys so everything's fine. I already have it installed so I don't need to install it. I'm going to type in MSI Afterburner. It's going to ask you the same thing that it asked you when you open up RegiEdit. It's going to ask you, do you want to allow this device or this app to make changes to your device? You're going to click yes. Now, originally these values would be set at zero, but mine are already, I'm already overclocked, so mine's at 200. You're going to go up by 50 each time so you don't kill your PC. I stopped at 200 because I don't want to go higher up. I don't want to go any higher, any lower, but go as high as you want until your PC cannot take it. Now when you're done with that, you want to go into your browser again. You want to type in process lasso. You want to click on the first thing that pops up. Or you can just go into the description because this link will be in there too. You're going to click download free. I don't need to do that because I already have it downloaded. So now you want to make sure Fortnite's open like mine is. You're going to open process lasso. You're going to scroll down until you see Fortnite, which I got to find mine right here. You're going to find Fortnite client wind shipping. You're going to go to CPU priority. Do go to always. But I think I'm on the wrong one. One minute, actually. I think it's this one, actually. Yep, okay. So you're going to go to the Fortnite launcher.exe. You're going to make sure. Go to CPU priority. Go to always. Make sure it's on high. Then you want to go to power profile. Make sure it's on none. Then you want to go down to more. Hard throttle. Always. 
and make sure it's on no throttle. So now what you guys need to do is you guys need to go down, type in edit power plan, go back. Now you guys aren't going to see ultimate performance, but I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock ultimate performance. So now what you're gonna do, go to here, type in CMD. I'm about to blur out my name here, of course. You're gonna copy and paste. This will be in the description also. You're gonna click enter. Now it's gonna pop up that. You're gonna reopen edit power plan, go back. Now I don't need two of these, so I'm just gonna delete this plan, but this is, really needed this is going to help you get about a 40 to 50 fps increase if you guys have watched this long i really hope all of those optimizations helped you out and all that i'll leave a comment if they helped you make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and leave a like i stream every week about three times a week at twitch.tv slash not snipes it's all in the description make sure you guys join my discord to get notified for uploads or just chat with my community um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.